In this video, let's focus on how we can get your open source contributions on your resume so you can stand out a lot further. And we're going to do this by not taking a fake resume and trying to see how we can make it look good. We're actually going to take real resumes, your resumes that you've submitted to the Eddie Hub community in the support repo. And I usually review these on live streams, but I sometimes do them in videos as well. I think this is such a great topic. So thank you so much for asking the questions in the Twitter thread on how to showcase your open source contributions in your resume. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the oldest one here and let's have a look. So I'm gonna click on this. Thank you so much, Helper Utam. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Let's uh, open your resume and let's have a look and see how we can make some suggestions about your resume, but also on the open source contribution side. So I like it that you've got your name clearly at the top, you've got your LinkedIn, and the LinkedIn link is the full link, which I think is really important for all your links because someone might print your resume. And so if it just says the word LinkedIn and is clickable, when you print it, it isn't clickable. I'd probably suggest removing the phone number, especially when you're sharing it publicly here now as well, but it's entirely up to you. So you've got education first, and then your projects, and then open source. I mean, it looks like you're focusing more on the education side. I would probably flip those around. We read from left to right, which means the most important is the top left and bottom right. So I would say put the open source where the education is. And hopefully your projects are open source as well, so they could have GitHub link too. You know, make those stand out. So these open source projects, what are they for? What challenges did you have? What solution did you provide to solve a problem? And what is the problem you're trying to solve? And have it really clear so it encourages people to go look at those projects. And in those projects, as I always say, make sure you use issues, labels, pull requests. Even if it's only you working on the project, that encourages other people to contribute to it. But also when people are reviewing your projects to see how you collaborate and how you plan your projects, it looks quite professional and organized as well. I like it that you've got skills and tools and you've got them in this kind of like button style. I think that's really useful. Same with frameworks and libraries. Coursework, I mean, you could probably move that if you need more space and you've got achievements as well. It's one page, which I think is really good and you've got hobbies down there too. So I think this is really, really good. I really like the way you've laid it out. The only thing I would strongly recommend is make your open source kind of stand out more, put it first and maybe put a little bit more attention to it. Where are the links to these open source projects as well? Um, I think that'd be really important. If you've just made a pull request to an open source project that's not yours, then put a link to that. Share why you raised that pull request or that issue and that you gave lots of context in it. Show the different skills that you've used, not just coding, coding, coding. My project, my project, my project. Show that you've collaborated on other people's projects. It doesn't have to be code, it could be documentation automated testing. Raising a really good bug report on their issue is a really good thing to showcase. So I hope that's useful to you. Let's move on to the next one and uh, we'll see how their resume looks and we can use some examples on the open source side to make your resume stand out. Here we have the next resume we're going to review. Only thing I would say immediately that stands out is your GitHub username. It says poor effects. I think to look more professional, and people are going to check out your GitHub. There's no two ways about it. And I think that's important they do check it out. So they're probably going to search for your name. And if you provide a link, that may, does make it easier for them. However, poor effects doesn't sound very professional. So I highly recommend having your name or something pretty close to it. So let's have a look. So I really like this. This is designed really well. Let's make it a little bit larger for you. You've got a profile picture as well. And I know a lot of people frown upon that, but I really like that. I think I kind of almost get to know you. That's really good. You've got your GitHub straight at the top. Love that. And it's a full link, as I mentioned before. So now I know your name is Mohammed. So I didn't know about that before. You can see that you focus on front end. Really like that. It's crystal clear. You've got about experiences. I really like this. Only thing I would highly and strongly suggest the focus of this video is to get your open source projects higher up. I want to see that first because to be honest, that's what I'm going to be looking for. It does look like that poor chats or poor shopping is kind of your trademark or your branding. So maybe that's why you've got your GitHub username. So take what I say with a pinch of salt as I'm getting to learn this. However, if it takes time for people to realize that, maybe you want to have something a bit more closer to your name, just as a suggestion. I really like it that you've got the demo link and you've got the repo link. I think this is great. And you talk about what the project does and also technologies that you use. I think that's really good. It's really crystal clear. And then you've got your skills on the other side. The only thing I would suggest is most places have this title, 
where open source projects doesn't, so maybe you want to do something similar. You really want to make the open source section stand out because that is what I'm going to be uh, looking for. Two pages, really good. One to two pages is a great uh, length for a resume. But this looks really good. I highly recommend trying to get your open source projects on the first page. I think that would work really well. Otherwise, this looks really good, really professional. Again, I don't know about the phone number, if you want that on your resume or not. Personally, I wouldn't but it's entirely up to you. So here is the next resume we have. It's looking really good, the two columns. I know what Nick will say is the uh, resume kind of machines that munch it up and make it searchable and all the rest will not really like the two columns. It will confuse them. So that could cause some problems with your resume coming up in certain searches and certain databases and certain tools that the uh, recruiters and hiring people use. Just something to bear in mind, but I do like the two column layout. It's one page, lots of white space, really clean. And the first thing I'm going down to is again, looking for your open source projects. So it's really great you've got projects here. It says source code can be found on my GitHub account. What I would recommend is probably put open source projects, like make it really clear that it's open source. And if you can push it higher up the page, I think that's really important. I think contact info you probably could put further down because if that's something that they want to get in touch with you, they're going to make an effort to look for it. But you want to make that hook to tie them into why they should contact you first. So I would definitely uh, move that down. Maybe have the email right at the top under the full stack developer, but all the other details like address and so forth further down. Maybe with the LinkedIn and GitHub, make those full URLs just in case this is printed. In terms of the projects, I would also maybe explain a little bit more about them potentially. Just maybe one more sentence, maybe what technologies were used. You do mention Laravel and Bootstrap on here. Um, this one is not sure what technologies you're using. So I would definitely try and include that because they might see a technology they like and that hooks them into looking further into those projects. I would have the URL for each of the projects underneath each one and make them a clickable link, but actually have the full URL displayed on the page as well. In terms of your work experience, I like the freelancing on Upwork because that shows a more well-rounded um, kind of developer or, or whatever you're looking for, but it also shows that you do the communication, the organization. I would try and say a bit more about this, like what services do you offer on Upwork? Can you have a link to your Upwork profile so people can have a look how you present yourself? Maybe also mention how many clients you've had, if you've had five clients and just say five plus clients because obviously it's going to increase as time goes and every now and then you can kind of bump it up to the next bracket. Again, I think this looks really good. I would just highly recommend moving the open source higher up and having those links and saying that they're open source projects. That has to definitely be key and I think that will work really well for you. This is the last one we're going to review today and let's see what you think. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below when you're looking at these resumes. Having different perspectives helps not only the people whose resumes these are, but also helps me and others to learn too. So please do share your thoughts and feedback. It is super valuable. And if you want your resume, open source project, portfolio reviewed, don't forget to submit it to our support repo. It will get reviewed by the community. You can see so many of them have 10 plus comments from the community, which is amazing. So thank you all so much in the Eddie Hub community for collaborating and communicating with the other awesome Eddie Hub members. And we'll give it a shout out on a live stream stream or in a video. Here is the last resume we're going to be having a look at today. And I like that they've just for this changed it to fake at gmail.com and changed the phone number. I think that's really good. Removing your personal details when you're sharing these publicly, especially on videos and live streams and on GitHub and so forth is quite important. So really, really good. You've got work experience and you said six years. I like that. I'll probably put six plus years because it's probably six years and three months now. So plus might be quite good. Then you've got the skills and then you've got projects. So are these projects open source? I don't see any open source sections on them. I mean, you have got a GitHub link, so let's go have a quick look. I'll probably suggest putting some of these projects on your resume. It looks like you're quite active on GitHub and you're part of the Eddie Hub organization, so big thumbs up to you. Let's have a look, you've got six repositories. So you've got some of these and I don't know if they look familiar or the same as the ones you have on your resume, but I would definitely try and add one of these to your resume if you can as well. Give people a reason to go to your GitHub. But it does look really good. I think um, you've mentioned technologies. I think you just need to put some more open source on this and more further to the top. 
give them a reason to dig deeper into not only understanding that you use, for example, PHP, MySQL, Vue, and jQuery, and so on, but give them a reason to go have a look at your GitHub so they can see how you collaborate and communicate with other people because that is really important. Most of the time, as developers or testers or documenters or whatever we are in tech, we are gonna be collaborating and communicating with other people in the same discipline as us and also other disciplines. It's important to show that. That's why I always recommend to everyone to go and review other people's pull requests. But add value, don't just hit approve and move on. That doesn't add any value and actually has a negative effect on your profile if you keep doing that. So I recommend add value, ask questions, raise an issue, leave a comment on other people's issues, get involved in the discussions on GitHub, Discord, etc. We have some wonderful success stories to share with you with people in the Eddie Hub community who've been chatting in Discord, contributing to open source projects and getting jobs with some of my clients who are watching our open source projects and our Discord chat. So some of those coming soon, we won't mention any names now, but I'm super happy for them. And we've got more stories uh, to share with you soon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe below, hit the bell button so you get notified every time that I go live. I look forward to chatting to you in Discord between live streams and video. You guessed it, link in description below.